In this video tutorial, I'm going to create um, some randomized numbers using ActionScript to produce simple uh, dice rolling games. The first one, I'm going to show you what some of these um, different ActionScript codes uh, do and how to create random math and uh, create random math that will uh, be similar to a die roll. So uh, some of the things I did was I created a simple button and um, you can go back in the previous videos that I showed how to create buttons uh, but to do this all I did was pretty much uh, take a uh, rectangle and then I converted it to a symbol or convert to symbol I put some text and a little color shading on it uh, these are simple lines so I use a line tool to create this uh, simple line uh, outline and this is all static text over here so I just used the text tool and I came over here and made sure that it was static text and not dynamic text and I wrote uh, raw math random and uh, just to show you what some of the codes uh, do uh, when we have our output our dynamic text output so uh, this button that I created get rid of this So uh, this button that I created, I named uh, BTN capital R O L L uh, button roll for the instance name. And uh, when I created the symbol, I called it the roll button, but that's not important for what we're doing. We're using the instant name uh, when we write our rack action script codes. And all these text boxes have an instant name also. So this is uh, this first text box under the math random raw uh, is uh, raw R A W. And the second dynamic text box is uh, times six. And I use Arial font, um, made sure that I had it under the use device fonts, and I embedded uh, my fonts. Um, they're all the same, so I embedded those in there. Um, this I named times six, T I M E S six. Oops. This is rounded, instant name of rounded. This is uh, for the math floor, floor, and for the uh, math ceiling, I uh, put die, D-I-E. So we'll go into our action script and we'll and we'll see what uh, some of these do, and then we can um, also window actions. So the code I have in here is uh, stop. All right, so. Um, I only have two layers, one's for all the graphics and the other one's for the action script. And um, I created uh, my button and the name of it, the instant name of this button that I created was uh, BTN Roll. So this is the button and it's a listener event. And uh, remember from, uh, I did listener events already in a video, you could do a click, uh, you could do a mouse up is when you release, um, you could do over. All right, and I named the function roll. So uh, I named this R O L L, and I put here. This is the function. So when when I release my um, when I click down and release the button, then the function roll will take place. And this is an event, a mouse event. Um, and nothing starts. There's nothing to start with before anything happens. Um, and what I have here is. Uh, I'm going to create a variable because when I when I have my output, my output is going to be strings, uh, or it's going to create uh, text, and, and the text is going to have no numeric value. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable, uh, and it's going to be a number. I'm going to name that num1, num1, and it's a number, and uh, this number is going to create a random number between zero and one, so it's going to it's going to have a lot of decimal places. So in my uh, first text box, I want to uh, show this text number one. Uh, so I have my raw is what I instant name for that text box, and it's text, and it's going to output the string um, in whatever this variable which is math random takes place it's going to show what that is and you're going to see this that this is a, uh, a number with a lot of a random number with a lot of decimals between uh, 0 and 1 
And then uh, to get it closer to a dice roll, I'm going to take that times 6. So 0 times 6 would be 0, and uh, 1 times 6 would be um, 6. Uh, but there's still going to be a lot of... Uh, there's going to be a lot of decimals in between because our random number has a lot of numbers in it. So whatever that random number is times 6 is going to give us a number uh, between 0 and 6 with a lot of decimals uh, behind it. Now to get rid of those decimals we can uh, round it and uh, that's rounding numbers just like we know in math that if it's uh, higher than 5 you go up and if it's lower than 5 it goes down. But what this will give us is this will give us numbers between 0 and 6. And if we have a dice, we know that there is no 0 on a dice. We either get 1 or we get 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. So uh, what we have here is we have uh, our math. We could have a floor which rounds down only. So the uh, lowest integer to whatever our, our number is with the decimals. And we have a math ceiling that rounds up only. So uh, no matter what it is, it will always be 1 through 6. Uh, with our math floor, it'll be 0 through 5 because it'll be the lowest number. So if you type that in and uh, then we hit our um, test our movie in Flash. All right, you'll see when I click on the roll button, so I have my uh, event listener. When I click down, nothing happens. All right. I have to release so my mouse up is release and now I have all these numbers so you see the rounded number is 3 uh, 3.26 and our lowest number here is 3 but our highest number is 4 so you'll see how these work differently and every time I click on this it'll pick a new random number so uh, a round will either go up or down so it'll either be closer to the floor or the ceiling depending on how you round but you see what's happening here when we round uh, we have 0.3 rounded, it's less than 0.5, so it would round down to zero. And like I said, we don't want a dice to have a zero as a, as a possible answer uh, or outcome. So we have our ceiling, and our ceiling would go the highest round up only. So we have something greater than zero, which would be one. All right, and we could see that sometimes our rounded numbers will be the same as a die or the ceiling and sometimes it'll be the same as the floor so uh, there you go we have just created a simple uh, randomization that gives us an output like um, a dice now next thing we could do is we can have a little bit of an output going on here so uh, if we look at this so I got the same uh, same button button roll and I've created a dynamic text box, or two ty dynamic text box. One of them I didn't put the uh, background, so I didn't do this uh, show borders around the text. And um, I'm going to have some text appear that is there. And then this one is going to be where the number appears. This one I did have the show border. All right. Uh, this one is D-I-E. It's the same, same one I had before. And this one I named Output. I can name anything I want. This, of course, is just uh, static text. So we have our uh, dynamic text box, D-I-E, instant name. We have a dynamic text box that's instant name of output. We have our, our button, uh, button row. Let's look at uh, our action script for this. You get F9 to do this. And we have our stop. And then we have uh, our listener event, so our button row, which is this button. When we add an event listener, mouse event dot mouse up. Uh, we have a role, so we call this the role uh, function, and uh, our variable uh, I called this time the the dice roll, and it's a number, and uh, we just put in what we had our math ceiling ceiling uh, math random uh, times number six, right? So uh, our dice roll is actually just our uh, mathematical function that we have um, our random math which is a number between 0 and 1 times 6 uh, times or being rounded up and this is all in one statement so now we have our uh, die text 
is our string is going to give us our dice roll variable. So it's going to show us in text what our numeric value was. And uh, if our dice roll is equal, equal to six, then you're going to have output text in our output box. So we've named that instant output. Uh, you got a six. Good job. Or else, if it's not a six, if it's anything but a six, uh, output text will be, that's not a six. Roll again. And we close it with our curly brackets. So we can also do this window, uh, control, test movie, flash player. And you'll see we roll, and this is a three. So three is not a six. So it says that's not a six. Roll again. So we click on the roll, and it says six. So when we got a six, it's equal six. Then our uh, output text says you got a six. Good, good job. When it's not a six, like a two, anything but a six, it says that's not a six. Roll again. So this is a simple, simple little game that you could have to show your um, dice roll. Now that we created a simple dice game, uh, we can add this and we can expand upon it by having two dice being rolled simultaneously. And then we can also have the, uh, the sum or total of these two dice being displayed in our output text box. And then uh, if we get doubles, we can have a congratulations uh, dynamic text box. So, so this is basically the same uh, program that we just made with a single dice, uh, only instead of uh, this being DIE, it's going to be DIE1, and this dynamic text box is going to be DIE2. All right, we have our uh, use device fonts, Arial text, um, dynamic text. Uh, this is still our output dynamic text box. And then we have another one that's going to be our C-O-N-G-R-A-T-S, congrats, text box. And our button is still the same, B-T-N, capital R-O-L, button roll. So those are all the instant names that we use for our uh, graphic elements and our objects, text boxes and buttons. So let's look at the code. All right, so Windows, uh, you can hit F9. Um, you can go through window and hit actions. So we have our basically the same setup we had for our last code. We have our stop uh, to keep the frame time time uh, the frame timeline from playing. Um, we have our our button roll, our BTN capital R O L, add event listener, mouse event, and I'm going to have a click instead of a mouse up. Um, and we roll dice. We're going to call this function. And so the function is roll dice. And so when we click it, we have our function take place. And the function is roll dice, and it's a mouse event. All right, and there was nothing before it started. And uh, we have uh, dice roll one and dice roll two instead of just a dice roll. So we have uh, two dice being rolled. And it's the same thing. We have our math ceiling, which means we round it up. Um, random numbers, and the, random, ran, ma the math random creates a random number between 0 and 1. So we want time 6. When we round it up, that gives us random numbers between 1 and 6. We want that for both dice. And then we're going to have a total. So our variable that's going to be the dice total is going to be dice roll 1, which is a random number between 1 and 6, added to dice roll 2, which is a different random number between 1 and 6. Um, and our die 1 dynamic text box is going to display whatever dice roll 1 is, our random event. And die 2 dynamic text box is going to display dice roll 2 and our output dynamic text box is going to have a string you rolled and then it's going to have our number which is the sum of dice roll 1 plus dice roll 2 uh, so you rolled and then whatever that number is is going to be displayed um, and we have if our dice roll 1 is equal to our dice roll 2 from this random number generation uh, then you're going to get in the congrats text dynamic text box you roll doubles, good job. So if they're equal to each other, then you roll doubles, good job. Um, if they're not equal to each other, then you're going to get just roll again. All right, so let's uh, take a look and see what happens here. So we've got control, and we've got test movie, and flash. And uh, we roll the dice. We have three and six. You roll the nine. So three plus six is nine. It says roll again. So we roll again. Two and one is three. Roll, 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 roll. Roll, 
roll, roll. Keep rolling until we get doubles. All right, three and three. You rolled doubles. Congratulations. All right, so you can do that and keep doing that and seeing how we have random numbers. There we got doubles again. So it gives us a total. So you can see uh, we could simply add more and more dice to this. We can create multiple games, all types of games that have uh, different uh, different numbers of dice added to it, all types of role-playing games. And we could have our uh, totals added in all different ways um, and displayed in all different ways. We have all kinds of outcomes. We can have uh, outcomes that are related to um, dice, certain dice being equal to each other. We have outcomes of totals equaling a certain a dice total could equal a certain number maybe 12 you got a high roll you can have outcomes where one roll one equals a specific number and roll two equals a different specific number so we can have all types of uh of role playing game events take place from this simple uh simple little snippet of codes that we've created uh for this uh, dice rolling game